Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion exercise 10D. Page number 120, question 7. The ratio of length and width of a school ground is given. So it's, the order is very important. So ratio of length and width, that means this is length and this is width. This is length, this is width. Find the length if the width is 40 meters. Okay, so length is what we must find out and width is given to us. So let's start. Let the length, since we don't know the length, we'll give, make it x. So let the length be x meters and width is given to us as 40 meters. It's already given to us. Width is given to us. Then the ratio of length to width is also given to us, which is 5 is to 2. Now, we have to make it a proportion. Now, how did I get x is to 40 is to 5 is to 2? 5 is to 2 is already given to us and this is length and this is width. Similarly, on the other side also, I must have length and width. Now, length we don't know. We have given it as x, so I have written x. Width we know is 40 meters, so I have written as 40. So, the order should be the same on the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side. So length is to width on the left hand side. On the right also it is length is to width. Now we have it in the form of a proportion. Once you have it in the form of a proportion, we can use the formula which says product of extremes equals product of means. And we know that x and 2 are the extremes and 40 and 5 are the means. Product means multiplication. So well, let's find the product of extremes. x into 2 is equal to 40 into 5. So we can find the value of x 40 into 5 and I can take 2 to the other side. It becomes division. Now I can cancel 2 and 40. 2 2s are 4. So 2 into 20 is 40. So let's multiply 20 into 5. 20 into 5. 5 zeros are 0, 5 twos are 10, so I have 100. So x is equal to 100. And what is x? x is the length. So we have got the length of the school ground to be 100 meters. This is the unit, 100 meters. Question 8. The ratio of sale of x on a Sunday and that of the whole week. So here we are talking about two quantities, sale on Sunday and sale during the whole week and the ratio is 2 is to 9 again 2 will be for Sunday and 9 will be for the whole week the order here is very important if the total value of the sale of eggs in the week was 360 rupees find the value of the sale of eggs on Sunday so we have to find for Sunday so whatever you have to find that should be x so let the sale of eggs on Sunday be x. Okay, so Sunday we don't know, so we've marked it as x. Total value of sale of x in the week is given to us. The week is given to us 360 rupees. Ratio of sale of x on Sunday to the whole week is given to us as 2 is to 9. Remember the order is Sunday and week. The order Sunday and week. So we have to follow the same order to get our proportion. So here 2 is Sunday and 9 is week. That means on the left hand side also I must have the same order Sunday and week. So Sunday is x and week is 360 rupees. So now I have my proportion. Left hand side and right hand side the order is the same. So now let's work like a proportion. For a proportion, there is a formula to use to find the unknown quantity x and that is product of extremes that is x and 9 multiplication should be equal to product of means. So let's start. So x into 9 should be equal to 360 into 2. So let's find the value of x. x is 360 into 2 divided by 9. Now I can cancel 9 and 360. So 9 4s are 36 and then there's a 0. So 940s are 360. 
we can multiply 40 into 2. Let's multiply only 4 into 2. 4 to are 8 and then you add the 0. So we've got 80. X is equal to 80. And what is X? X is the sale of X on Sunday. So sale of X on Sunday is 80 rupees. So this is our answer. Next question. The ratio of copper and zinc in an alloy by weight is 9 is to 8. Again, the order is important. Copper and zinc. If the weight of zinc in the alloy, so this is the weight of zinc, 9.6 kgs, we must find the weight of copper. So always what you have to find, mark it as X. So find the weight of copper. So let the weight of copper be X. X kg is what we are talking about. Then given weight of zinc. Weight of zinc is already given to us as 9.6 kg. Then the ratio of copper and zinc. The order is important. Copper and zinc is 9 is to 8. Now we have to form a proportion using this. So when you form the proportion, remember the left hand side and the right hand side should be the same. So on the right hand side, it's already given to us copper and zinc. So on the left hand side also, we should have copper and zinc. And we said let the weight of copper be X. So this is copper first and zinc is second. So the order on the left side as well as on the right side should be the same. So here we have copper first and then zinc. On the right hand side also copper first and then zinc. Now once you make it a proportion, then we can follow product of extremes equals product of means. So extremes and means. So extremes will be X into 8 and means will be 9.6 into 9. Now we can find out the value of X that is 9.6 into 9 divided by 8. Now I can cancel. I can't cancel 8 and 9 but I can cancel 8 and 9.6. So for that let me divide 9.6 by 8 and see. 9.6 divided by 8. So 8 ones are 8 minus 1. I have a point here which I'm going to carry up and I bring down 6. It's 16. So 8 twos are 60. 8 twos are 60 minus so now I've got 1.2. So x is equal to 1.2. 1.2 into 9. So we have to multiply that now. So because we have cancelled this, this is 1.2 and we have cancelled by 8. So now we have to multiply 1.2 into 9. So let's do that multiplication. Let's ignore the point and multiply and then put back the point. So it becomes 12 into 9. 9 twos are 18, carry 1, 9 ones are 9 plus 1, 10. I've got 108, but the question has one decimal place. My answer also should have one decimal place. So x is equal to 10.8. Now what is x? It is the weight of copper. In the beginning we wrote that. Let the weight of copper be x. So the weight of copper is 10.8. 10.8 kg. So this is the weight of copper. The ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys in the school is given as 2 is to 5. So again, we have girls first and then the boys. So we have to be careful. If the number of boys is 225, find. What should we find? First, we have to find the number of girls in the school. This is the first question. First part. So remember, whenever we are asked to find something, we will assume that is X. So here we are asked to find the number of girls in the school. So let the number of girls be X. Given number of boys. Number of boys is given to us as 225. Now, the ratio of girls to boys. Girls to boys is 2 is to 5. So we're going to make a proportion. So remember, Girls is to boys is on the right hand side. So similarly on the left also we should have girls is to boys. So girls we have assumed it to be X and boys it's given to us as 225. Now we have a proportion. So now let's work out and find X. So for that we are going to say product of extremes equals product of means. So extremes and means. 
So let's multiply. X into 5 is equal to 225 into 2. Therefore, X will be 225 into 2 divided by 5. So let's divide 225 by 5 because we can cancel those. So 225 divided by 5. So let's take 22 by 4s are 20 minus, we get 2, I bring down 5, 25. 5 fives are 25. So I can cancel 5 and 225. This becomes 45. So now 45 into 2. Let's multiply 45 into 2. 2 fives are 10, carry 1. 2 fours are 8 plus 1, 9. I've got 90. So x is equal to 90. And what is x? It's a number of girls. So we have got our answer for the number of girls. The number of girls is 90. So we know number of girls is 90 and number of boys is 225. So let's answer the second part of the question. Number of students in the school. To find the number of students in the school, how do we do? We add up the number of girls plus the number of boys. So number of girls we found out to be 90 and the number of boys already given to us is 225. So let's add up these two. 225 plus 90. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 9 is 11. Carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So the number of students in the school is 315. So this is the total number of students in the school. Question 11. In a class, one out of every five students passes. So if there are 225 students in all the sections of a class, find out how many have passed. So we must find out how many have passed. So total number of students in the school is given to us as 225. Then number of students that pass, they're saying one out of every five students passes. So that is one out of five number of students that pass. Okay. Total number of students that pass will be 1 out of 5 of the 225 students. So 1 by 5 of 225. So that will be 1 by 5 into, of means into 225. So let's cancel 5 and 225. That means we divide. We divide 225 by 5. So 22 by 4s are 20 minus 25. 5 5s are 25. So I can cancel here. 5 and 225 is 45. So 1 into 45 is 45. So the number of students that have passed will be 45. So 45 students have passed. So children, we'll stop with that for now. We will continue the remaining questions in our next video. Thank you, students.